Look at the speed there. Massively. Set him up. Oh, this is over. This is over. This is over. It's done. Absolutely done. The heavyweight division is home to some of the most lethal knockouts in boxing. So let's take a look at 10 heavyweight knockouts that shocked the boxing world. Number 10, Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz Jr. The first two rounds of this match were pretty slow, but things spiced up in round three. There were just two minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the third round when Ruiz was knocked down by his opponent, but he managed to get back up on his feet. Ruiz decided to retaliate back for what he had received mere seconds ago and threw in a barrage of heavy punches, one of which hit Joshua's temple. Joshua was down but managed to get back up. Ruiz comes to fire back and Joshua's hurt. Oh, Joshua goes down. The next few rounds did not involve a lot of action, but then round seven saw some major action. There were just two minutes, 20 seconds left on the seventh round when Ruiz knocked Anthony down with a barrage of heavy blows. Joshua managed to get back from this before he was floored yet again for the fourth time in this match. Joshua was in a pretty bad shape after this fourth and final fall and went back to his corner in a staggered state. Was at the very end. Oh, that hook. Almost landing in the right hands from Ruiz. And now a barrage. The champ's in trouble. And down he goes. Number 9. Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil. This match between Deontay Wilder and Dominic Brazil was scheduled for a good 12 rounds, but ended in the first round itself. Both the boxers were pretty skilled. The first round saw Dominic show some great talent, especially with his footwork, which was pretty immaculate. Dominic made the use of his front foot pretty well, such that it backed up Deontay Wilder against the ropes. Brazil! Brazil is hurt! Brazil is in! Oh, we're in the trouble! Wilder's going after him! But Wilder has had experience being such a situation and knew how to get himself out of such a scenario. Wilder decided to retaliate back with great power and threw in the lethal combination punch that Dominic Brazil was not expecting at all. Following this, both the boxers continued to exchange punches with each other until Wilder decided to take matters into his hands and end the match with a huge right hand. This won Wilder the match via first round KO. To this point, open right hand, down goes Brazil on a lethal right hand. Number 8, Anthony Joshua versus Dillian White. Right from the first second of the match, things between Anthony Joshua and Dillian White were pretty intense. Both the boxers were seen throwing power punches at each other, tried to damage each other in the process. After exchanging punches, Joshua threw in a left hook that shocked White. The seventh round of this match saw Joshua throw in an immaculate right hand at White's head, which landed perfectly. Coming up to note. Oh, oh it's a big shot, him. Nick. Rocked him. This blow left White in a slightly dazed state due to which he fell against the ropes of the ring. Joshua then decided to end the match once and for all and threw in his signature right uppercut to his opponent's chin that sent White to the canvas. White was left on the floor of the canvas in a pretty bad state that the referee found no reason to even initiate a countdown. Playing the matador in there at the moment. Oh! Bludgeoned him with a huge right uppercut. White is down he's and I'm not sure he's getting up from that. Number 7, Dillian White versus Derek Chisora 2. Derek inaugurated the match with a bunch of powerful punches at White. White retaliated back with counter right hands that were swift and powerful. Chisora is known to fight in a very tactical and strategic way, and he fought in his front foot so as to throw in quite a few heavy shots. Things started to intensify further in the third and fourth rounds when both the boxers were seen exchanging power punches. With every punch, Chisora was slowly starting to dominate the rounds, while Derek, on the other hand, seemed to be slowing down with every passing round. The tempo of the match was again increased in the ninth and 10th rounds when both the boxers were fighting in such close range of each other. In round 11, White threw in a left hook that sent his opponent to the canvas. Derek was unable to beat the count and was still trying to make sense of the situation he was in, as well as the excruciating pain that he was enduring at that moment. But I'll give him a bit of energy. Yeah. Oh, and that's good. out after a thunderous battle. Number 6, Derek Chisora versus Artur Spilka. Derek Chisora is a mean, lethal boxer who many are afraid of fighting considering the fact that he has sent many of his opponents to the canvas or left them in a pretty damaged state. The way Derek finished the match not only made it to the highlights, but also taught the world of boxing how a match should really be ended. Here he's certainly got the focus. Nice body work there. 
Derek threw in a barrage of vicious hooks at Arthur, prior to which he had cornered Arthur against the ropes. This barrage of punches left Arthur in an unconscious state, following which he collapsed to the floor of the ring. Arthur was in a pretty damaged state, and the referee had to get involved and call for a stoppage before Derek could further destroy Arthur. Oh, nice. Oh, he's Look at the speed there. Massively. Set him up. Oh, this is over. This is over. This is over. He's he's done. Absolutely done. Number 5. Alexander Povetkin vs. Dillian White Both the boxers entered the ring with great skill, and everyone knew that after looking into their previous matches, some even became their fans. Povetkin is known for his jab, and he made use of his jab on White pretty well. Alexander decided to retaliate rather violently and threw in a powerful uppercut that was both powerful and lethal. This was quite a highlight of the match. Povetkin's timing on landing this punch was also pretty great, making this punch all the more rewarding and glamorous. On receiving this blow, Dylan was out cold on the floor of the ring and was not able to get back up from this knockdown. Number 4, David Tua vs. John Ruiz The number of matches that both these boxers fought prior to this match was almost similar in looking at their fighting style as well as the previous record, both of these boxers were overall well matched. The match just lasted 19 seconds of the first round before it ended. Tua had thrown in his signature left hook and followed it up with a punch combination that nearly decapitated Ruiz. Following the combination punch, Tua threw in a left hook that injured Ruiz further. On receiving this, Ruiz was flat on the canvas and was left in day state. The boxer was left in such a damaged state that it took him at least five minutes to make sense of what had just happened to him. We'll see how he uses it. Tua with a big left hook and Ruiz in trouble. Tua comes right at him. Another big bomb and Ruiz is down. This could almost be over now. Number 3, Danny Williams versus Mark Potter. This match between Danny Williams and Mark Potter was action-packed and had Danny dislocate his shoulder in the third bout. Potter, noticing this opportunity, took advantage of the injured Danny and threw in a massive left hook, followed by a barrage of a few more lethal punches. But despite Potter's sincere efforts of trying to send Danny to the canvas, nothing seemed to be working in his favor, as Williams was quite strong-willed and resilient. Left to the body there, and a right hand. That was no question, that was right. Okay, Williams wasn't hurt. But in round nine, Danny threw in a left uppercut to Potter's chin that Potter managed to get back from after being floored. William then threw in a left hand that was too much for Potter to take, and he was on the canvas. A stoppage had to be called by the referee, leaving Danny as the winner of the match by a TKO. Number 2, Vladimir Klitschko vs. Corey Sanders the match between Vladimir Klitschko and Corey Sanders was scheduled for a good 12 rounds, but ended in the second round itself. There was just 30 seconds left of the first round when Vladimir decided to showcase his talent and throw in a jab at Corey, which Corey countered back with a big left duck. This prompted both the boxers to enter into a clinch. While both the boxers were in the clinch, Sanders sent Klitschko to the canvas with a left hook. Rocking the head back of Klitschko. And he's got him in the left hand and floored him! Goodness gracious me! Klitschko managed to get back up only to be sent down back to the canvas. The next round that followed saw Sanders continue to throw in lethal punches at the tired Klitschko, which led him to being dropped not once but twice during the initial few moments of the round. After Klitschko fell off the canvas for the fourth time, the referee intervened and waved off the fights. Because Klitschko is rocking and rolling all over the ring, he throws down again and it is stopped all over round! Number 1. David Hay vs. Derek Chisora the match was slow at first as both the boxers were fighting cautiously. Hay made the first move in inaugurating the match and attacked Derek with his punch. This gradually started to heat up and by round three, Derek threw in a lethal left hook that left Hay in a shocked state. But this was after the bell, so Hay was all safe. Chisora threw quite a few blows at David's chin in round four. In round five, Hay threw in quite a few connecting punches that sent Chisora to the canvas. Oh, big left oh, hand the, right. oh, the, the countdown was started by the referee, but Chisora managed to get back up, only to be faced with a flurry of lethal punches. Chisora was sent to the canvas for a second time, 
all thanks to Hei's left hand. Chisora managed to get back up, but the referee called for a stoppage. Hei won the match via a TKO. He's got one of the best chins in the business, and he couldn't stand up. Around. And he's done again. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Make sure you subscribe to The Home of Boxing, and we'll catch you in our next video.